Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the custom application. What is the custom application? Why do we need the custom application? How we can create a custom application into the service now? And then we'll deep dive through that app engine. So we'll lastly talk about the app engine. So first we'll talk about the custom application. Why do we need that? How we can create that? And then finally we'll talk about that through that app engine. So let's see that why do we need the custom application into the service now? Um, there are multiple applications already available like incident problem change and then why do we need the custom application? The custom application is needed whenever your out of box module is does not exist. For example, that campus ma event management, this application is does not available into that out of box in the service now or the patient equipment tracking. This is not also available into the service now. In that case, you can create the custom application. Now the custom application have multiple benefit. One of the benefit call, um, it's a low code. If you are using the app engine uh, in the citizen development, then you can use the low code, uh, no code method and that help you to uh, build the application without any coding. Secondly, it's a scope application. So it's easy to maintain. You can main upgrade, you can reusable, you can uninstall if it is not needed. So it is uh, very helpful for the scope application. So third point is the no risk of breaking service no code module during the upgrade. So whenever you are upgrading your um, module or application or your, let's say the campus event management, there is a uh, no risk to break that existing platform features like incident problem change. And then fourth is actually related to the point number three is that custom apps give you the dedicated tables, forms and workflow clean separate from the ITSM. So ITSM is using the incident problem change module that have um, um, dedicated other forms, tables, workflow. But if you build the custom application, there is no um, chance to contract with them. So there, there will not be any uh, contradiction with that. Okay. Now how we can create the custom application? Creating a custom application have uh, two approach. You can create the custom application using the ServiceNow Studio and you can also create the custom application through that app engine. So there are two methods available. One is through the service now studio. Another is the app engine. Now, basically, um, studio is something for the developer who have, um, uh, the development knowledge who have that, um, how to quote that, um, how you can maintain that file for them that service now studio is available. And app engine is for the such a user who does not have any knowledge about the service now um, coding. They are mainly process owner or product owner. They can build their application also. So that case we can use the app engine. Okay. We'll re, uh, do a deep dive through that all this, but you can see that there are two options are available. Now let's go back to the service now and see how we can uh, navigate to the custom application, how we can detect the custom application. So if you go to this service now instance, in this service now instance, I am in the Zenodo release right now. In this Zenodo release, if you click that this uh, globe icon, you can see that it's saying that application scope. So application scope still that which application you are right now. Okay. So you can see that global is our global application like that falls under incident problem change. And then you can click there. There are other application too. So these are the other application. Now through here, you can create your own application and um, you can do that. That's the one options um, or else you can through the app engine, you can create your another application. Let's do that one by one. So if you go here in the left side, the first approach is that you can type called app engine and then using the app engine, you can create your custom application. So you can go to this app engine studio and from here you can create your custom application. Okay. So you can click this create new app and then we can create a custom application. Okay. If you can go to this, my application right now, there is no application. There is a template, there is a resources. So there are multiple things are available through this um, process. You can create your own application. That's a one process. Second process is that you can go to this studio or you can go to this service now studio from the service now studio. Also, you can create the custom application. So two methods are available. One through this app engine, you can create the application. Another is that through the studio, you can create the application. Now, once you created that, where you can find it, find out that application, you can find out that application under your studio or else you can find out that application under your um, app engine. So let's try that. So I'll create a, um, a one application is called create app here. Let's say that we are going to put this application name called um, campus event management. So we'll copy this name 
and then create this application. So we'll put this name called campus event management. Um, you can upload the images. Um, you can put the description. I'll click the continue. And then here uh, you can define that which role are going to be add this uh, application. Okay. So one is the role called admin. Another is called user. So you can put your role as per your requirement. Let's say that who will do what so that you can define that. We'll go and then continue that. And as you can see that we can, our application is created. Now you can go to this app dashboard under this my apps and you will be able to see your application. So as you can see that your campus event management application has been created. So campus event management application has been created. And if you can go to the security and you can see that there are two roles called admin and user also created. Okay. So you created an application, right? So how we can see that this application can be visible under this app engine through that my apps or else if you go, if you using that studio module also the under the studio that will be visible. So third option is that if you go and then refresh your backend and then here, if you click here, call globe and you can see that your application called campus event management is selected here. So you can see that campus event management is selected. Okay. So there are three options to find out your application. One is that you can directly go and then change the scope from here. You can go to this app engine or you can go to the studio and you will be able to find out your application. Now we'll go to this app engine and then from here we are going to uh, have some options. Okay. Now this campus event management where we want to store the data. We want to store the data. We want to gather the information and store somewhere. Right. So that should be a table there, there we will store the data. So you can see this is the first section called data. Under this data, we will store some um, data. Now to store the data, we can create a table. We can click this plus sign. If you want to import the data through the spreadsheet, or if you want to import the data through that, uh, create a blank table, or if you want to do integration, that depends on you. So we'll create a blank table and then we'll continue. Okay. Now, once we click that, we are going to store the data through this table. We have a two option to create a new table or to create a existing table. We can leverage existing ta table, but it is better to use the create a new table. We'll click this create a new table and then continue that. So once you click that create a new table, you will be able to see that the table name table level should be provided here and then backend name should be will be automatically populate with this name. Okay. As you can see that this is coming like this. Okay. So the table name will be like X, this one, zero underscore user info. This will be the table name. If you want to uh, table to be uh, auto number, like it will be start with um, like INC have a INC 001, or if you want to do like uh, something like that, you can do that auto number. We can click this auto number and then start with that US, something like that. You can put that. Okay. So use the US. And then click continue. Okay. And now the third is that who will have this access to the table. So as I mentioned that during the creation of this application, we define that two role will be there. One is called admin and another called user. So admin will have all this access. The user will have these, all this access except the delete option. Then we'll continue that. Okay. So once we have done that, you will be able to see that the table will be backend table will be created. So we got a place where we can put the informations about app engine. So we can put all this data into this table. We will click this. Um, I mean, we can edit this table. So right now we are putting that um, a zero field because we don't have any field. We can add some field. Okay. So we'll click this edit table. So once you click this edit table, you can see that these are the automatic field are going to be created called created created by numbers update updated by and here you can add some more fields so we'll click this next button here and there are some information about how we can start that and let's say that we are going to add one more field so we'll click this add new fields here and then we'll put call name so this is i'm going to put the user information so we'll put the name column and maybe name type will be string and then I'm not putting any reference. Uh, if you want to create another field called uh, phone number, you can do that. 
um, the name will be automatically column name will be automatically here the type will be uh, multiple type are there call phone number do you have anything phone number we'll add that and then save that so our um, form actually uh, our table is ready here we can go to this form section and this is our how the form will be looks like that you can add more fields here so let's say that we want to add a phone number here so we'll add here phone number okay so name number then we'll add the num our uh, number name phone number will be added here so this way you can actually design your form okay and then here you have the flow uh, the flow is tells you that how you want to derive that okay so if you want to create a new flow let's say that after creating this information what you want to do that you can define that we are not going to do with the flow right now we'll click this close this information okay so now you can see that after creating this um, data we go and then add it uh, here add it into this uh, called form right the moment we uh, updated the forms added some fields that comes under our experience okay so that comes under our experience okay now what we can do we can create one more experience um like you can click this plus sign and then you can see that in the experience there are multiple experience are there workspace experience standard catalog item experience record producer portal mobile app engine so let's say that we'll go and then select the record producer we'll go and then begin that so let's say that we'll put our call user information so this is will be our catalog item will be put here you can put the short description if you want this is going to be our new record producer we'll go and then edit the record producer here now whenever somebody ordered these forms they are going to be insert into this table whenever somebody going to be ordered this form the data is going to be insert into this table called user information okay so we'll define here into this record producer so now you can see under this record producer the first information is called item name so we put the user information if you want to put some uh, attachment file you can put that now destination so where should the record is going to be created our case the record should be going to create that under user information so we'll select this table name we'll continue now what should be that our category is topics that we want to select that so let's say we will put the catalog then we are going to select that category so what should be our category for this record producer our topics we are going to select that under which topics this um, record producer will be fall under so let's say that we are going to put that under technology and then select that next we'll go and then put some question okay so we can put multiple questions um so let's say that i'm going to create one question called username or let's say the text the question type is single line and then here the label called name and once we put that and then right side you can see that how it will be preview and then we'll map this field to which field will map to this field with our name field in the back end okay and then um, this is going to be mandatory so we'll select that inside the question that's it our question is added here we'll continue to the setting uh, if you want to do something called mandatory at um, attachment is mandatory hide icon attachment icon you can do this all this then who will be able to access this catalog item so we'll select that call all user depending on that user criteria so let's say that we can say that all user or any user at that moment and then continue so this is our all this information about this one and then we'll submit that okay so our record producer is ready okay i'll click this return to my application and if you see that under this experience we have two experiences one is called record producer another is called form then here under this logic or automation you can put further um logics like any of this for the logic you can put that okay 
So this way you can create your custom application through the app engine. This is a pretty simple process. Now here, let's say that multiple persons are working to this application. You can click this manage uh, collaboration and then you can add others who can actually manage this application, who can edit this application, who can do other stuff. So you can option call, you can put the owner or editor here for this application. Then here you have options called source control. So if you want to uh, publish this application to any Git repository, to any other repository, you can uh, uh, link to the source control. After completing all these changes, uh, you can click this submit button. Once you will be submit that through this approval process, this application can be published. We'll come to this a uh, little bit later. So this way you can create your application. Let's see that how it is working, right? So we need to know that this is actually working or not properly. For that, what you can do, can uh, we created a uh, application called Campus, all right? And this have one record producer, right? So we'll go and then open our portal. Now in this portal, this is our portal application. Here we can search with our um, record producer name called user information. And you can see that our uh, record producer is visible called user information. You can simply open that. So as you can see that this is a one question we have added into our, rec uh, our record producer called name. So we'll put call um, demo user and then submit that. Once we submit that, we are expecting that this record should be created under this table called us001 under this campus information table so we'll go and then in the back end we can see that the record is getting inserted to this table or not simply so you can go to this table and you can see that the record getting created and then you can see that the record number is us00 uh, something called 1001 the name is demo user that we have put there and the record is successfully created so this way you can test that after testing this properly, uh, what you can do, you can submit for review and then this application, once it is approved, this application can move to that net next environment. So we'll discuss this further on our upcoming video. That's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.